So uh, I don't want to touch sore spots. That's where I'm going to start this one, touching sore spots, because I love you. Sometimes you've got to feel the pain of a, of, a, of a sore muscle to walk it off or stretch it out. You can't just sit and do nothing and hope it heals. you got to touch people in their sore spots. And I just said something to Xavier, who's now here with me. So I was, oh, ooh. All right, I love him. And, uh, and uh, so we were saying, I was saying to him, because he's talking through me, because whatever I'm saying out loud is going in his brain. It's just, like, I'm, I'm the speaker right now. And if he doesn't agree with that, please just say, don't, I, I don't agree with anything you just said, or some of it. And if you want to point it out, you can't. I'll let you. You know, I mean, does a lot of what I said make sense? Yeah. I mean, I don't disagree with anything. Yeah, it's just hard to comprehend. Okay, so put it this way. I'll give you this example, and this may enlighten you, or you may just get mad at yourself. Or me, because I'm yourself, too. So if you're mad at me, you're actually mad at yourself. Anyway, let's say... I tell someone, the reason you act this way is because you're unconscious. And they're like, oh, I'm not unconscious, I'm awake. I'm like, do you get drunk? Do you drink coffee? Do you eat dead animals? Do you put cosmetics on your face that are made out of poison chemicals? Do you drink water without purifying it? Do you eat three times a day? Do you believe that you're a religion? Do you think you're from a country? Do you have ancestors that aren't anything that was once alive? Sorry, if your answer to any of those is yes, you are completely unconscious. And that probably includes just about everybody. Completely. But they'll walk around and say, I'm, I'm awake and I'm conscious because I studied, you know, the, the chi and I studied chi gong and I studied uh, uh, all these different spiritual paths. And uh, what's the one with the H? I can't even think of it. It's the one that uh, that we could have the Hindu. I'm a Hindu. That's not a religion. It's a spiritual practice. Ah, those are words, guys. Anyway, the example I want to use is this. Let's say... A guy gets drunk, and he acts like a fool, and he'll say, and if he's starting to drink, I say, you're not conscious. And he's like, I'm conscious. Fuck you, man. I don't know what you're talking about. And I'll say, yeah, I do. And like, and there's some people who, let me just expand that same guy happens to be somebody who, many people have the tendency to get drunk and act violent towards their girlfriend, especially, or something like that at home, their children, their animals, something. And let's say, I get some drunk sometimes, and I find them. I get so drunk sometimes I throw up. I get drunk and I get in car accidents. I get drunk and I beat my loved ones or my family member or my dog or something. But I'm conscious. I say, no, you're not at all. Let's say I got drunk and I lost my consciousness and I couldn't help it. Okay. Well, then, if you were conscious and that happened, right that moment you would say, I'll never touch alcohol again because it'll lead me to being that guy. But then you'll say, oh, I've got to get through I won't do that again. And then you do it again. And you go, I can't help it. Because you're unconscious. And if you really get that, it'll wake you up. And you'll say, I got a lot of work to do on myself. And that motherfucking man guy, I hate him. Because he's right. You can hate me. Because I'm right. If you eat shitty foods and go, I don't know why I feel like that. Yeah, because you're unconscious. And you'll say, oh, I'm not. I'm sad. I'm like, uh, yeah. You're, you can't even use, you're using your five senses. And your sixth sense, which is the thought, thinks it's okay. Because you have no right to tell someone what's good or bad for them. Unless it's good or bad for them, right? No, not even then. Let them. Um, just let them. It's not harming anybody. But let's let them get enough money and influence other people so that that's all that's available. So the chemicals are all we can have. And the money is the only way we can survive. But it isn't. That's unconscious. So we should start from the beginning. Teach our kids how to really be conscious. But how do we do that when none of us are? You gotta listen to me. And I'm sorry, I don't mean Dan, but the voice coming through him. When you're conscious, it'll come through him. And it'll, you'll hear it. You'll be like, yeah, that's true. It's the voice of consciousness it's right there. It's in me, talking as somebody else, but it's my mind answering all the questions I want to be here. Maybe it's using scenarios that aren't related to me, but I could give him my scenario and he could point out where I'm unconscious. And I could work on that. But then maybe touching the source spot. And I don't want him to do that, because then I'll get mad at him, because his self is my self. Fuck, he's right. I hate him. Now I got a lot of work to do. And I hate him, because he pointed it out. And I'll even get mad at him, because I'm still a person. And I'll lose my consciousness, and I'll blame him. And I'll kill him. Maybe not you specifically hearing this, but one of us, and they've done it before. So I'm not worried that somebody might kill Dan Alexander. If 
if I talk like that, I'll be like, well, wow, he's going crazy. He's weird. I'm like, it's happened to me before. It's happened to you before. Many times. You ever stomp the bus? It was something that was trying to live and experience what it's like to treat people like nothing. And that's what it's like. It got a consciousness long enough to experience being stomped or even tortured by somebody who picks swings off. Guess what? That's you too. And you can't say anything because people aren't hearing you because if you can't speak, if you can't walk on two legs, and if you can't hold a pencil and, and, and put on a book bag and go to school and learn, you're not in, in living enough to mean anything. If, if you can't say no, don't kill me, but you wince when I like point at you and go, ah! If I come running at you with a knife and you're a cow, and I hit you and you cringe, but you can't say, ow, that hurts, please don't kill me, then I have the right to kill you and feed you to people. Unconscious. I know it's a sore spot because all of you are doing it. And if you're not the ones who are, the vegans who are putting people down, don't put them down. Just tell them the truth. They may take it as you're putting them down. Don't put them down. Say it's stupid to do that. Don't say you're stupid to do that out in public in front of people. Do it to them right in front of them. Say you are being stupid. I love you. I'm not saying you're stupid. But you let the world influence you to do things that are harming you. And you're not, you're not, you're not conscious enough to stop yourself. And I want to help you. God damn it, I want to help you. When I say God damn it, I mean God's going to come into your life and stop it if you want him to. If you have a habit, say God damn it for me. Please. And say it with your heart. Don't think you're taking the Lord's name in vain. The Lord's name is everything you say. My name is God. And your name is God. The Savior's God. My mom's God. President Joe Biden is fucking God, dude. But he's so confused. He was brought up to do what he was doing, and he thinks he's right in this human world. And he is. Because this human world is just fucked up. So we've got to clean ourselves up. We've got to clean up our act. And i got to touch source spot so we can work out some cramps and get our muscles working as one. And be a well-oiled mental machine, not a well-oiled. We don't need the oil in the first place because then we're picking it from the earth, and it don't want that. I know it told me. I did. And I'm telling you. But I have to say me so you take secondary personality, seriously. When I say I'm talking as the world, I really am. But I'm in a body. Just like when you're riding a car, you run something over. It wasn't you that ran it over, it was the car. But it was you. And you're inside the body, inside the body, inside the car. It's fucked up. But it's true. And if I'm wrong, please tell me I am. Instead, people will just say you're a batshit crazy, and I'll say, no, I'm fucking right, and you're free to admit it. Get mad at me for saying that, and keep denying it to yourself, when you die, you'll be like, God was right. I mean, Dan Alexander was right. But I'm God, too, because I'm here, and I, I feel the presence. And that guy in the Earth world, Dan, was telling me. And that transcends time and space. And now that I'm with the astral beings, because usually most people won't make it to the oneness, if they keep enough Earth consciousness with them and don't go, Oh, I died! And they really think that being that said it was Dan Alexander at one point, that said it wasn't at another point, but I thought it was, because I didn't understand it, was right. Holy shit. I was right when I said that to me as Dan Alexander. Oh shit, that's weird to say, isn't it? But it's true, and it's happening to everybody. This is what happens to people when they take, like, hallucinogenics, and they're like, oh my god, this feels like oneness. What does that mean? And then they come down and they lose it. I'm there all the time, because I open that place in my brain that unlocks true spirituality. People talk true spirituality, and they're fucked up. Because they heard it from somebody, they felt something cool, and they want to teach at least that to other people so they can wake up. And if they don't, they get mad at them. And they'll commit crimes and try to make money. It's fucked up. And they do it. Money talks. They become unconscious again. They become conscious, then they become unconscious. Then they become conscious, they go unconscious. I'm conscious because I'm making sure I think about what I'm doing. Let's watch a movie. Let's have some butter-flavored popcorn. Yeah. Let's let's have some chips and a snack. We just ate dinner, which we didn't need. But let's do that, too. Unconscious again. Oh, wait. While oh, I'm eating it. I'm conscious. I shouldn't eat these. Oh, shit. I already got them. Oh, just that quick. I lost my consciousness for a minute and finished it. And now I become conscious again. Just don't get the chips. Don't get the snack. Don't eat all the meals. Start thinking all the time. Be hard on yourself because other people will for things you don't need to do. Start now. Don't listen to anybody. Get in touch with nature. It'll teach you things you never thought were real because it's all that ever was. So, 
touching the sore spots because I love you. <laughs> Sorry that, I mean, like I said, I at least wanted to get you involved because I'm not trying to just sit here and take up all the time. But people need to hear this shit, dude. It's not like shit. I mean, this stuff, this amazing stuff. No, when I, 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 I